ALSA, the Advanced Linux Sound Architecture. In the next few minutes, we'll understand how sound travels from your application to the actual hardware using ALSA in Linux. It's a software framework and part of the Linux kernel that provides audio and MIDI functionality. It allows programs to play and capture sound through sound cards, and also controls things like volume and mixers. Whether you're playing music, recording audio, or handling digital sound, ALSA is doing the job under the hood. Let's look at the ALSA architecture from top to bottom. It's divided into two main parts, user space and kernel space. In the user space, we have your sound applications, like a play or a chord. These talk to the ALSA user space library, which provides simple functions to interact with sound hardware. Communication between the user space and the kernel space happens through a system call called ioctl. Now inside the kernel space, we have three main components. The ALSA middle layer, it provides standard interfaces to different types of sound devices. The device driver, which is specific to your sound card model. And finally, the hardware, which is the actual sound card installed on your machine. This separation helps make the system modular and easier to maintain. Now let's understand how a sound card is handled internally in ALSA. The driver is defined using a structure called SND underscore card. We can break the sound card into multiple components, like controls, this handles things like volume, distortion, and mixer settings. PCM, this stands for pulse code modulation, and it deals with actual audio playback and recording. Timer, used for audio timing and synchronization. MIDI, for musical instrument digital interface support. And additional custom components as needed. These components communicate through an underlying interface such as PCI or USB. To summarize, ALSA is the heart of sound on Linux. It connects your applications to your sound hardware using a layered approach, with clear separation between user space and kernel space. Understanding ALSA is key for anyone working with embedded audio, device drivers, or professional audio software on Linux. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more Linux internals explained simply.